My area of study is American Indian um, material culture and particularly the plains and woodlands. So Minnesota is kind of the perfect place to be because we have both of those cultures represented here. What makes a collection important are the people who are connected to it. And so we really encourage folks to come in and interact with the collections and then we learn more about them. The museum has had an American Indian Advisory Committee for, um, since 1972. And um, so there's a built-in group of people who are very um, embedded into the collection. And they come down regularly um, four times a year and visit with the objects. And you know, you, normally there, we have questions or we have projects that we need their input on. So it's really great. We're working on a few projects to um, allow people to have more access and also to um, add their voice to these objects. So we've got a website that will be um, rolling out in July. And so we'll be able to put the objects up online. People will be able to add data to them. And again, we'll learn more about them by simply allowing people more access to the collection. Um, the Whipple collection is important because it documents a critical um, time period from 1850 to about 1900. So it's the interaction of the culture that creates kind of this flourishing um, uh, wonderfulness and um, it also shows a respect between the two cultures so one culture is kind of taking on part of another culture. As opposed to people who, who, you know, missionaries who really wouldn't allow people to continue on, say, with linguistics, he encouraged people to preach in their, in their language, so in Dakota and that Ojibwe. But again, he was colonizing them, he was making them change their religion. So. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.